you saw the picture, you saw the title, you know what I'm making. So let's get started. Obviously the first step is to cut the wood to size. Now I'm using some one by two pine and the height of the cross is 29 and a quarter and the height of the crossbar is four and three quarter. Let's get cutting. Now that I've got all the pieces cut, I'm gonna add a slight chamfer to all the face pieces. And that's just gonna give the cross a little bit of depth, a little bit of extra character. And I'm gonna do that right there on my Craig router table with a chamfering bit. Now that I've got all the, all the bevels cut into the boards, I'm gonna take a torch and lightly burn all the boards. I'm not gonna overly char it. I'm just gonna lightly burn it and that's just gonna bring out the wood grain. Now, I'm using map gas just because that's what I have available. You can use propane. Uh, hell, you could take it into your house and burn it on your gas stove top if you wanted to. I'm just gonna put something on my workbench to get the the boards up off the bench to protect the surface and then I'm going to lightly burn it with the map gas. Also, when it comes to cutting these bevels, you saw that I did it all on my router table. Now, that's not necessary. Um, if you don't have a router, if you don't have a, a chamfer bit for your router, then you can just take it, take the edges down with some sandpaper, wrap some sandpaper around a a uh, spare block of wood and just sand that edge off or do it with a palm sander. Anything you have really to just ease that edge will help you know get rid of any any sharp edges and give some depth to your piece. Now that I've got all the burn done, time to start staining. So what I'm gonna be using are two stains by General Finishes. It's their Empire Red and their Blue. What I'm also gonna do is I've already laid out where the Union goes and uh, I'm gonna be using oops, a couple of razor blades. I'm just gonna drive in to the, to the two boards here in the middle that, where the union goes. And that's just gonna separate the union blue from the red and white of the stripes, keep any stain from bleeding through and give me a nice clean edge. Now that I've got everything stained and I let it set up for a few hours, I'm ready to start assembly. So I don't know how well this shows up, but I got these layout lines here and that's just there to keep everything aligned so that when it comes time to assemble, I know all my edges will be perfectly lined up. Everything's in order as far as, you know, color and stripes and everything. This way I numbered everything because working on the backside, it's easy to let yourself get disoriented. So I just do these layout lines, number everything, and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna be using pocket holes and wood glue. Um, you really don't need to use pocket, pocket holes or screws or anything. The wood glue, if you, you know, glue it up, clamp it, let it set up, the wood glue should be more than sufficient for something like this. It's, you know, it's a wall hanging, it's, it's a piece of art. It's not like it's gonna be getting a lot of stress on it. So you really don't need the wood screws. I just prefer to use the wood screws, one for my own security and sanity. And second, that way I can continue to work on it while the wood glue sets up without having to worry about clamps and everything. It just makes it easier to continue working while the wood glue sets up. That's just me. So I'm gonna be using 
is tight bond uh, type three. This is interior, exterior, wood glue, waterproof. That way, if I wanna, you know, if you decide to make one of these, you can have it out in the yard, you can have it up on your front door, whatever you wanna do with it, the wood glue is not gonna be an issue since it is waterproof. It can be used interior or outside. So I'm gonna get ready to start doing my assembly. So I'm not really sure how well the drilling of the pocket holes is going to show up on, on camera, um, but in the spirit of transparency, I did make a couple of mistakes in drilling my pocket holes. Um, for all the boards, I didn't want all the screws going one direction. I wanted them alternating. Don't ask me why, I just did. Um, so when I laid out all the marks and started drilling all the holes, I had a few spots where the pocket hole is visible from the edge of the cross. So uh, once I got some pieces assembled, I saw what I did. So I went through and let's see if that'll focus there. I added some wood filler. It's this uh, Minwax stainable wood filler. So I used that. Um, now I just need to go sand it down once it fully sets up and then I'll add some stain to the areas that need it um, but other than that I'm ready to attach the two cross arms to the center portion of the cross and then I need to go and lay my stencil out for all the stars in the Union so that'll be the next step
Now the only thing really left to do is to add a way of mounting this. So <clears throat> you could go and use a simple you know, picture hanger like that. But what I'm gonna do is do two keyholes. So I've got the positions marked, one up here and one down here. Now I plan on mounting mine to my front door. So by having two keyholes, one top, one bottom, it'll prevent the cross from rocking as the door is open and closed. Whereas if you hang it from just a simple picture hanger, just the top, the bottom could kick out and possibly fall, fall off the door as the door is open and closed. So the way I'm gonna do that is I've got a keyhole bit in my trim router. So I'm gonna clamp the piece down and add those keyholes. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna use uh, this Minwax wipe on poly. I'll probably just give the whole thing a couple of coats of that poly. Like I said, since it's gonna be mounted in my front door, the poly will help seal it and protect it from the weather. And there you go. So right now it's got one coat of poly on it. Um, I'm just gonna dust it off, give it a second coat of poly, and then this thing will be ready to, to hang wherever I decide to hang it. Like I said, it's probably gonna go on my front door. We'll see. So a couple hours of work and you can have yourself a little custom piece of wall art. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hit, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one.